Well, this is a stream channel that uh, has been manipulated extensively in the past. Probably going back to the 60s when urban streams were principally flood conveyance systems. The aim was to get the water from upstream to downstream with as little damage as possible to surrounding properties. People didn't really realise that a lot of fish lived in these urban streams and still do. This wasn't designed with fish in mind, it was designed with people in mind. Now that we have a better understanding of where fish actually do live, we can try and make habitat as friendly as possible for them, while at the same time trying to meet the needs of the people who live around the creek. Uh, so this is an urban creek. Um, we have to make the fish happy, we have to make people happy, we have to deal with flooding. And those are all aspects of this project that are being addressed through the design and through the construction. It's very difficult to dig holes and build bridges if you have water flowing through your site, so we have to dewater the entire site, which means taking all of the south branch of Thornton Creek and all of the north branch and pumping it around the site, essentially drying it up. When we do that, we have to take care of the fish that are left behind. We've collected a couple of hundred fish so far. SPU biologists right now are placing tags on those fish and they'll come back with uh, antenna and they'll be able to find the fish using the uh, pit tag. Let's go down and look at the dam that we built and the inlet pipes to accommodate the water flow. This is about the height of the dam. It's about four feet high and we lost quite a bit of it downstream to the water flow. The water flow was like right about up here. What's interesting about this is that we have to do all this to dry out the site so that we can do our work. But from an unexpected storm event, you just have to get back to where you were as quick as possible and move forward. birthing event for the new creek. This dam is the last thing standing between us and creek freedom. We 
look at this today and we go, what a cute little stream. Yeah, the amazing thing about Thornton is that the peak flows in this system are over 100 times the base flows. It's because we're in an urban setting and the water just kind of roars off these hillsides, off the pavement, off the houses and downspouts, and just, just clooshes into this system. They race, they roar through this system. So we have to design a system to both accept and embrace these little low flows we have and yet hold together and continue to function at flows over a hundred times as high. From an engineering perspective, it's a huge challenge. Those are the last few bags that held the creek back from going into the channel and into the floodplain. Take a look at this. For the first time in eight years, Chinook salmon have been spotted spawning in Seattle's Thornton Creek. This part of the creek was restored by Seattle Public Utilities back in 2014 to try and lure the salmon back. And it looks like their plan's working. <laughs> 